this question from uh, Mr. Smile Fell Rocker. Hi, Mrs. Tule. Do you have another specific request before a concert show? Example, like the Croatian theme on your stage, like flowers, banners, statue, or paintings, or anything? Well, I would say I'm an easy performer. Also, the character of uh, my work, I think, uh, make me feel like I should be more flexible because always the stage could be in a new place, new country, and you cannot just turn up a few hours before and request everything completely new, right? So, uh, no, I don't really have uh, so much requests. The only thing I would try to prepare and to ask uh, to ask uh, people at the organization is uh, the room shouldn't be too cold. And that's it. I just don't like in the cold. And if I know that it is cold, then I would prepare a very well jacket or something that with the long sleeve or to cover well because I don't like the cold, uh, the cold temperature. I can deal with the heat because I don't sweat so much in my hand. But when it's cold, it's uh, more chance for me to get nervous and shaky in the hands. So yeah, not really difficult request. Here is another question. Do you suggest learning all kinds on genres or at least learning top 10 songs? Here in Canada, it seems people listen to pop, rap, R&B most, but I don't even really care for that. But I feel I should be playing what I love, but the crowd most likely won't have the same musical taste. What are your thoughts? Mix it up? Where do you draw the line? Well, the line here I should advise you to, uh, to draw is play what you love. Even if you're a classical guitar, if you enjoy to play some uh, popular songs arranged for guitar, then why not do it if you feel like? And don't worry too much about the crowd because uh, before they enter your concert or buying the ticket to your concert, they will search who you are, what music do you play. If it's not the music that they are ex expecting to listen, they wouldn't go. So the people in the concert hall is the people who already know you and expect what to hear from you. If you have to force to play something that you don't like, I think the audience, they can feel it too. And that wouldn't be wrong, it's too easy. In my uh, experience of choosing the repertoire, I am a classical guitarist, so of course when I'm on stage, I play mostly classical guitar pieces. Also, sometimes I, uh, I, I combine with some uh, popular songs arranged for guitar. And of course, also I want to uh, know more or less the idea about what crowd am I playing to, how the audience are. If it's the general public, uh, I would balance between the easy listening classical pieces and also I still put in some, uh, how to say, new program that not so familiar with people. Because I think our job, we are like uh, ambassadors of music through the instrument we introduce music to people. If we never bring the new music, people would never know about new music and they are just comfortable and knowing on the same old basis. I'm sure uh, Capriccio Arab or Recuerdos de la Hambra was once new pieces too. So our job here is also to bring unfamiliar pieces to audience that one day is also become familiar to them, to, to enrich the repertoire of us and also the, the uh, listen list of audience. Last but not least, I will share with you my routine of before the concert or even the day before the concert. Uh, as we all know, the concert days are very important. We all want to prepare well uh, technically and mentally for that. So for me, the, the day before the concert, uh, you know, you can think about changing the strings. I normally change one or two days before. Depends if just the day before I have a lot of time to practice or not. Uh, practice low, go through the program, 
a few times if you can. Go through the program slowly, like half tempo, it would be the best. Make sure you rest enough, you sleep enough the day before. And on the concert day, depend if you have concert in the evening, then in the morning, I would uh, practice again. I run through the whole program again. Make sure that I save time to rest. Do not over practice on the day of the concert and then evening you get really tired. Uh, every small little thing should be also very uh, taken care of well, like don't do something unusual. For example, if you normally if you don't like coffee, so on that day don't drink coffee. If you drink coffee every day, then drink coffee on that day. So just trying to do everything like what would happen in your daily life. Uh, for me, I like to eat before the concert, even if it's the early evening concert, like seven o'clock. So normally my dinner is at seven, but I know that the concert won't finish until nine. That means at eight o'clock I would be very hungry. So I would eat a little bit before the concert. I know that is very unusual because uh, most of people don't like to eat before the concert because it's full and they feel like uh, throwing up. But this is me. I like to to have some food before the concert. So just what you are used to, what your body needs, what your body asks for, then do it. Also, I like to take a little nap uh, in the afternoon if I can, if I don't have uh, teaching uh, because it's... Uh, help me to get really freshened up even until 8 or 9 in the evening. Just before the concert, I prefer to have a green room where I'm just with myself, fully concentrate, or practice, or just do some finger warm up. Uh, I like to also do the physical stretching of my body, my arm, my fingers, completely in silence try not to contact with uh, people, you know, like sometimes you have friends trying to get inside the, the prepare the green room to say you good luck or congratulations and all. Uh, I would minimize it because they can do it after your concert. And this is the moment that you just want to concentrate and focus. Uh, what else? About the clothes, yes, it's also important. I don't know for you guys, but for me, uh, we want to look good on stage, we want to wear dress, but sometimes dress could be very uncomfortable, right? So I prefer to have something that keep me warm enough and uh, still look nice and not too much trouble, you know, every time I stand up and sit down in my chair, not too tight, that make it difficult to breathe. So every small little detail in the normal daily, you don't see it have so much impact but when you're on stage when you are nervous every small little thing it seems like blowing up to thousand times I remember one time in a concert I wear a new dress and that was the first time I wore it just one time I try in the shop and then I wear it the first time in the concert and only up to the second pieces I realized that it was too tight in the chest it was too tight and the more I think about it the more tight I feel it. And uh, it's good that that concert has a break time and I had also another dress. So in the break time, I changed to another dress. And since then, I learned another thing that even the concert clothes, the new one, I would try it and play it through the program, like for the, for the rehearsal, to make sure that everything is fine. Talking about dress and clothes, there is also one question uh, that asks me why do you always wear the sleeve? So, I mean the sleeve on my uh, right arm. Uh, so this sleeve is for me only when I don't have the long sleeve shirt and this helps me to move comfortably on the guitar because you know we have to do different colors, dynamics which I have to move my right hand and without the sleeve it would be very sticky so yeah, it just to help me move easier. Make sure to check everything before you step out the stage and the last thing if you want and if it help to gain your confidence and positivity, pray. It always helps. 
despite the fact that performing can create so much uh, nervousness, stress, can be so much time taken to prepare, it's still a wonderful thing. It's still a dream of every musician to be on stage. The high that it brings, the happiness that you have after every successful performance, nothing can compare. That's why it can be so addictive. For me, every time before each concert, I can't wait that the concert is over so I can celebrate and can feel relief. But then every time when the concert is over, I'm right away planning and excited for the next one. Remember, we are doing a performing art. Music is only meaningful when we share with people. And rem remember, the audience are there to support you, not to count on your mistake. Ah, and I forgot to mention that, don't forget to smile. Uh, it always works magically. It shows that you are confident. And if you are not, it will gain your confidence. It shows the audience that you are, con you are connected to them. And it's the beginning of a, of a wonderful relationship between you and your music, you and the audience. So, good luck with your concerts, with your performance, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.